Emily and Jasmine had the same number of stamps. After Emily gave 42 stamps to Jasmine, Jasmine had twice as many stamps as Emily. How many stamps did Jasmine have in the end? Now this problem is a lot alike the previous problem. And again, we're going to start by drawing a picture of what it looks like at the end. So here we have something for Emily. We're going to draw something for Jasmine. Okay, so I'm going to draw a block for Emily. And we're going to draw something for Jasmine, which is twice the size. Okay, because at the end, Jasmine has twice as many stamps as Emily. Okay, because Emily gives 42 stamps to Jasmine. Okay, when we look at it here, now we have three equal size portions. But when we think about the beginning state, the girls had equal size pieces. How are we going to divide the three between the two girls? Well, it's going to mean that each of them had one and a half of these size portions. So Emily, Jasmine, I'll start by drawing the one. I'll give Jasmine the one. Okay, but there's another half. This one, let's say, has to be divided by half. So there we go. Half there. Okay, so we know that Emily gave Jasmine 42 stamps. Okay, so Emily gave Jasmine 42 stamps. So she must have given half of this size portion to Jasmine. So we know this part came from Emily and that that is worth 42. And if that's worth 42, that's 42. And if we divide this, 42, 42, same here, 42, 42. So we now have one, two, three, four, five, six equal size portions, each of which is worth 42. Now, let's have a look and see what we were asked to calculate. We were asked to calculate how many stamps did Jasmine have in the end? Now, this is the picture of the beginning when they had an equal number of stamps. This is the picture of the end, okay? And this is how many stamps Jasmine had in the end, which is one, two, three, four times 42. So 42 times four. Okay. And that means that 42 times 4 is 168. So Jasmine, if this will work, had 168 stamps in the end. Okay.